Locked. I can't get inside. Broken. I can't row with something like that. It's good for nothing. Too short. There must be a door that it would fit. It's falling apart. I fixed the oar. Maybe it's no good for ore vaulting the canal, but I can move the boat with it. See? I reached Palazzo Celeste without any mishap. Because of this portcullis, the room at the far end is inaccessible. Is the gate code displayed here? What a unique gong. Must be an antique. There are two engravings on the watch case. Mary Celeste, 1872, and Benjamin S. Briggs. I can hear some grating, but the portcullis won't budge. Something must be blocking it. The stone blocking the mechanism is falling down. What a bizarre orangery. Such a mystical atmosphere. There's someone sitting on the pedestal, like a ruler on a throne. I suppose that's Count St. Germain. The plants have really good growing conditions here. The humidity in the garden has ruined the sculptures. It's not a great idea. An old rusty bowl, however it's not yet eaten away by rust. I don't feel like gardening, but some water could come in handy. It's not time to go back yet. I've still got something to do here. The plants have really good growing conditions here. The humidity in the garden has ruined the sculptures. Who? Who? Who took his life? Uh, I didn't see him. The killer disappeared, just vanished into thin air. Oh, was it a ghost?
I feel sorry for you, but why are you blaming me? I could have been killed myself. It is not about you at all. So many hours have passed, and yet we know nothing. Have the police joined the festivities? You'll learn nothing from the police. The only thing they're good at is asking the same questions on and on and on. Those lily-livered assassins trouble and harass me. They want to drive me insane. Why is that? Ah, oh, if only I could see the murderer's face. Then I would probably understand it. You'd better not get the chance. They want me to be afraid of my own shadow. They want my brain to boil with fear. But enough of that. I have not even welcomed you properly. I am Count Saint-Germain. Sylvie LaRue. You look even prettier than in the picture. Here you are, Briggs Chronometer. Did I hear you right? Briggs? Yep, Benjamin Spooner Briggs. Aha! Was the captain of the ship Mary Celeste, which on 4 November 1872 left... New York, and a month later was found abandoned 400 miles from Gibraltar. Have you been testing me? You've done a splendid job. Glad to hear that. What's next? Let us focus on the discovery of Marie Celeste, shall we? They got on board uh, the captain, what was his name? David Morehouse? Morehouse. He boarded the empty ship, not a soul in sight. The tea was still warm. Nonsense. A few thousand miles is enough to cool the tea properly. A few thousand? Why such a theory? Why not, I say? Just look at what we have here. Escaping the ship because the alcohol they were transporting was about to explode. Pirates, tsunami, and a cook who poisoned the crew and then jumped overboard. How many scribblers have fed on this? No one has solved the mystery of Mary Celeste so far. This chronometer. This chronometer what? It brings us closer to the solution, and undeniably at that. I'm all ears, Count. It was not found on the ship. It wasn't? Briggs left it in New York? I should rather say in Marion, where he lived, but no, nothing of this kind. The captain had it with him during the voyage. So Briggs survived? It was all a hoax? Uh, was he trying to swindle compensation? He should have obeyed his wife and founded that ironmongery in New Bedford. He would not have lost the unblemished reputation he had in his lifetime. You're right. That man would never stoop to fraud. I agree. As for the chronometer, it has been a part of my collection for a long time. How did you manage to get the chronometer? A peculiar case indeed. I cannot tell you how it fell into my hands. Cannot or will not? I simply do not remember. My memory fell to tiny pieces, each of which rolled in a different direction. Uh, I'm not really following. I had an accident. I barely survived a plane crash. I'm sorry about the accident. Do not be. To tell the truth, after the accident, I was convinced that immortality was something natural. In a hospital? What a paradox. Precisely. The particle containing this piece of information drifted far, far away. Too bad it came back again. If I understand you correctly, you suffer from amnesia. Then how did you get home? Bloodsuckers always find a host. Fortunately, I am rich. Otherwise, no one would have showed up. Why did you want to see me? I possess an object, a precious one, I suppose. But this can only be verified by someone like you, a professional. Where is it? It is the plank lying on the table. The cracked paint that you see on its surface might be covering an authentic sign or an inscription. I'll do my best. May I use the things I need? Everything here is at your disposal. I'm going back to work. I hope to talk to you soon. Count St. Germain. What to think of him? A charismatic person, but marked by suffering. A master of the Venetian school kept in such conditions?
interesting floor decoration, but the pattern on the rings is chaotic. There's a fragment missing in the center. Though the plank doesn't look interesting, there might be something extraordinary under the cracked paint. I need some kind of tool. A bunch of junk. A fragment of an inscription. I need to uncover the rest. A fragment of an inscription. I need to uncover the rest. It's not a great idea. Think, Sylvie, think. We need an alter. The uncovered inscription is protected. Now I need a strong chemical agent to dissolve the paint. I've dissolved the top layer of the paint. Now it's time to reveal the protected part of the broadside. Mary Celeste. Awesome. It must be the remainder of the lifeboat from the derelict ship. A fragment of the broadside inscribed, Mary Celeste. So what do you think about it? Excellent. It's Mary Celeste again. Is everything connected with this ship? It is quite possible. Where did you get this broadside? I bought it from an antiquary in Cairo. It must be a piece of the missing lifeboat. So there are more? Yes, I hope to buy all of them. Why did you start this search? Because of a premonition. A premonition of a great mystery. A fundamental question. And the answer? If there is one, it is also going to be fundamental. So, what is the question? You're asking too much of me. I do not want to make a fool of myself. I only have a few clues so far. And what can you tell me about Ponce de Leon's chest? It was kept in Venice, first at the Scuola, then possibly here. So we haven't come here by accident. There are no accidents. What we consider an accident is just an event whose cause is unknown to us. What happened to the chest when it disappeared from here? What do you think? Briggs got hold of it. Bingo. You have become quite intriguing. Three objects which disappeared along with the Mary Celeste crew have been found. The chronometer, the chest, and the lifeboat. What does it mean? That they did not die, at least not all of them. Somebody, maybe even the captain himself, came back. It would have been strange if he'd been living and hiding the whole time after his return. He certainly did not return with his wife and daughter. Those three would have been easily recognized. His son and his mother stayed in Marion. I can't believe neither the captain nor his wife wanted to see them. 
What if Mr. and Mrs. Briggs discovered something incredibly valuable and didn't want to reveal it? It was a decent family. Everybody, including you, says Briggs was a very responsible man. That is correct. Maybe he made a significant discovery but went into hiding because he was persecuted, hunted down. By whom? By someone from his entourage, a crew member, for instance. What was at stake? What was the motivation behind all those events? The journey of Marie Celeste had a secret goal, and it definitely was not about shipping alcohol across the ocean. I'm confused. Everything we've been discussing is just speculation. We have no irrefutable proof. Scientists and discoverers can be divided into two categories. The first group build arduously, only on solid foundations. The second group consists of adventurers eager to check even the most ridiculous theories once they feel there might be some truth in them. You do not belong to the former, do you? I don't really know what to think. Are you trying to offend me? Not at all. For me, it is an advantage. That is why I wanted to see you. What do you expect to find in the chest? Have you examined it carefully? Very. And? Please keep this for yourself for the time being. I haven't had time for proper research. What have you found? Tell me. Under the false bottom, I found a manuscript, possibly Ponce de Leon's notes, prepared as an account for the Casa de Contratación. I knew it! I knew something was inside. Tell me more, please. What do his notes say? He's describing his journey from 1513, during which he discovered Florida. Is there anything, anything new in that account of his? Something not present in other sources? Yes. He mentions the Bimini Island where the Fountain of Youth was supposed to be located. Did he reach it? That's how I understood it. I need to have that manuscript. No, I need to have the whole chest. God knows what else could be found inside. Oh, I'm afraid that's impossible. I hope I've lived up to your expectations. Listen to me. I am impressed by your abilities and knowledge. You show the talents of a true discoverer. I am hiring you to be my expert. Y your expert? Expert in what? In Marie Celeste. You will solve the mystery of the crew member's disappearance unarguably, once and for all. I'm, I'm flattered. It's, it's an incredibly ambitious endeavor. I will cover all your expenses. And as for the remuneration, uh, what would satisfy you? Hmm, let me think. Okay, let's start from the simplest matter. Exclusive rights to the book on the subject. Naturally. Access to all the valuable and antique objects we come across during this enterprise, as well as exclusive rights to analyzing. It sounds reasonable, I agree. And now the crucial part. I'll own a tenth of those relics and have the right of first refusal when it comes to the rest. My investment rights are strictly limited, taking into account your potential achievements. I think my offer is fair. I won't have any reward if I don't achieve anything. I risk returning empty-handed. There is something up your sleeve. You will always be able to write a book about it. I get the feeling that there's something up your sleeve, too. It's not only about Mary Celeste. All right, I agree. But I also want to make one condition. Let us leave the chest out of it. It will belong to me. The chest is the property of the museum. You will get it for me. I can't act as your agent in front of them. They've given me a job and I need to bring it to a conclusion, on the terms we agreed on. No, you are working only for me now. Come again? Have I suddenly become your property? You are my expert. You cannot be doing two things at the same time. Then I'm going back to France. Please, you do not know what you would miss. And I don't know what I'd miss if I stayed. Why do you insist on getting that chest? I only want to examine it. I know the list of its contents, yet I am not so sure that it is everything. There was a manuscript, a pistol, and a spout. The remains of a jug. I've got its copy. True, the jug is on the list. Do you know where the jug is at the moment? I know one man in Cairo who might be in possession of it. Who is he? Ah, you see, you should not renounce the cause. I shouldn't renounce my principles if I'm to work in this profession anymore. You have discovered a lot. I esteem that. But you will not get any further without me. 
Today, I found the place in the Scuola where the chest was stored for years. You have? And what was inside? A few strange seeds. And where is this cache? On the right-hand side of the entrance, under an absurd inscription on twelve tiles. Yes, I remember that. The tiles can be moved. I managed to arrange them into quite an elegant Latin maxim. Well, well. And what is it, if I may ask? Freely you have received, freely give. How enlightening. I'm curious about the relief on the floor. Me too. It seems to be unfinished, as if it needed to be adjusted somehow. Do you expect to find a cache here as well? It is likely that the seeds from the Scuola di Santa Croce cache were brought and hidden here. They may still be in this place. You did not find them in the chest, did you? No, I didn't. Since you are able to deal with hiding places so well, maybe you could try your hand here. Well, I'm not in a rush or anything. I need to have a closer look at this ornament. I've noticed, for example, that the circle in the middle is defective. Yes, and some stone pieces are lying in the corner. A sloppy work, I must say. I'm going back to work. I hope to talk to you soon. Pieces of stone plates, broken pottery, all in all, a small dump. Trial and error, they say. Now the relief is complete, but the pattern on the floor doesn't make a hole. Notice that now the second and the fourth rings are moving together. All set. The pattern on the rings shows a lush tree.
The tile sticks out a bit now. It's a stash for the seeds. They must have been considered valuable. These seeds are different from the ones I found at the Scuola. These seeds are different from the ones. These seeds are different. These seeds are like the ones found at the Scuola. They were brought by the conquistadors in his chest. They're the same species as the ones from the Scuola, but they're not as dry. They're the same species as the The ornament is legible now. I must admit you have performed marvelously again. Do you know what tree this is? I have seen it somewhere, but I cannot remember where. Is it related to Mary Celeste in any way? I feel that it is. Feelings are not enough when it comes to such an enterprise. Do you know that I've seen that emblem on a coin as well? On a coin? On two coins, actually. I found one of them near the place where Marcel, the restorer from the museum, died. The friend of yours? The one I wrote to is dead? Unfortunately, yes. And I found the second coin today at the site of your man's death. Two coins, two deaths. And one murderer, right? He is following you. What was that? Did you hear that? Uh, no, I didn't. Never mind. There are some seeds in the floor stash. I knew it! They're similar to the ones from the Scuola. Have a look. I feel they can give me the answer, but I do not know the question. I wonder if this is the tree that grows on the islands from the map. What islands? What map? I haven't mentioned it yet, but I've found a map in the manuscript. You have saved the best for last. I need that map. What is on it? A few islands, but their names are missing. You see, I need to buy that chest after all. It's not necessary. I've made a copy of the map. I brought it with me. May I see it? I am sure we can come to an agreement. Yes. Splendid. What was that? I haven't noticed anything. Hush! What's going on? Someone was following you. Nobody was following me. It does not matter anymore. You should go back. What's next? Where will we meet? I am compromised in Venice. Only Cairo is left. <sighs> Cairo is a huge city? I mean that collector. He often comes to the old town. He specializes in artifacts connected with Atlantis. Did you see that shadow? Where? Go now, quickly. What about the collector? Run! It must be the killer! Mistake this gondolier for Omega. It doesn't matter. I'll get him a bit later. It does. If someone's worthless life means anything to you. You've had your heart transplanted or what? Knock it off. We'll get him. This girl will lead us to him. Do you think they're connected in any way? She's like a moth flying towards the light. This is what we should hope for. What have I gotten myself into? I'm here all alone. No sign of the Count. And what's more, I don't feel so safe. 